welcome to Gathered Makes. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to make this origami dragon. Start with a 20 by 20 centimeter piece of square paper. With the paper facing up, fold it along the diagonals. Open the paper up and turn it over. With the paper now facing down, fold it in half both vertically and horizontally, and open it back up. With the reverse facing upwards, bring the corners together and collapse the paper into a square shape so the sides are sitting inside. In origami, this is known as a square face. With the open end facing downwards, bring the sides in to meet the centre line. paper over and repeat on the back. Fold down the triangle at the top, crease and unfold. Turn the model over and repeat on the back to make a nice crisp fold along that horizontal line. Open the flaps back up, then lift the bottom corner up using the fold you just made as the centre point. The sides will automatically fold inwards and you'll end up with this elongated diamond shape. Fold the top corner back down to create this kite shape. Turn over and repeat on the other side. This is what we call a bird base. Fold the top point down so that it meets the horizontal line. Crease well, unfold and repeat on the reverse. tip of the model inside itself. So to do this, carefully open the paper up so that the fold you just made forms a square shape at the top. push the sides of the square in so it collapses in on itself, like this. Fold down each corner in turn, creasing from the centre line to the outer corner to create a small flap. And repeat on the other side. over and do the same on the other side. Hide these flaps by folding the sides over like a book. Make sure to only lift up one of the layers as you do this. Turn the model over and repeat on the other side. bottom flap up to create this elongated diamond shape. Then turn over and repeat on the other side. Take the right hand side and line this up with the horizontal line in the middle, but only crease as far as the vertical line. up with a diagonal crease 
space that stops at the vertical line. Repeat on the left hand side, this time folding in the other direction. Line up the left side with the horizontal and crease as far as the vertical line. When you unfold, you'll see a triangle in the middle. Using this new triangle crease, bring the top down and to the right. As you do so, fold this flap in half so that you end up with a skinny elongated triangle. It should sit at a 90 degree angle from the main shape. In origami, this is known as a rabbit's ear fold. Here's that fold again. Turn the model over and repeat on the other side. Once you've made the triangle shape fold, repeat the rabbit's ear fold on this side, this time bringing the skinny triangle down on the other side to line up with the first one. Burnish the folds. Fold both the bottom flaps up. Working with the left hand flap, line up the vertical edge with the bottom of the model. Fold it down and crease. Repeat this on the right hand side of the model. Fold both flaps back up and down again to return to the kite shape. Using these creases, fold these flaps up and inside themselves. To do this, open the paper slightly, pull the flap up and close back up. The direction of the folds will be reversed as you do so. Repeat on the other side. Next, we need to narrow the width of the two sides. Working on the left hand side first, bring the top edge down to meet the base, folding this section in half. Secure the fold by opening the corner up and pushing the paper down into the corner. Like before, the direction of the folds will reverse, allowing the paper to hold its shape. Turn the model over and repeat on the other side. Turn the model over again and this time repeat on the right hand side. That flap right in the middle will be the wing, so lift this out the way first. back into position, turn the model over and repeat for the last time on the reverse. As you continue folding, the model begins to get thicker, so it's important to keep burnishing the folds as you go. This is
is the wing. Fold the wing up, making a new diagonal crease as you do so. This is what it should look like so far. Now that crease is made, go ahead and unfold the wing. This small triangle will be the back leg, so fold it down so it's roughly at a 90 degree angle with the body. Fold the wing back up to reveal the triangle that will become the front leg. The front leg is slightly different than the back leg. First, fold it backwards, lining it up with the base of the model. Then, matching the angle of the back leg, bring the front leg down and flatten the crease. Flatten all the creases using a paper creaser to ensure a neat finish. Next, we're going to shape the wings by opening them up. Fold back the back leg. Using this inside crease, bring the bottom of the wing up to meet this crease, and the top of the wing will open as you do so. Flatten the wing to secure the shape. Then, return the back leg to its 90 degree position, hiding the new crease. Turn the model over and repeat on the other side. Fold the wing forward and out the way, then fold the back leg down as before, matching the angle of the leg on the other side. Then fold the front leg as before. Working on the other wing, bring the bottom of the wing up as before to meet the crease on the inside of this back leg. Give your dragon a fuller look, then fold the rear leg back into position. As before, burnish the folds well to keep your origami looking neat. Here's what your dragon should look like so far. This is the neck and this is the tail. The next step is to fold the neck up. Once you're happy with the angle of the neck, unfold it, open the paper up and flip it inside out. This keeps the neck in position so it won't fall down. Roughly halfway up the neck, fold down the head and flatten the creases. Take the very tip of the head and fold it back through the back of the head to create a horn. The only thing left to do is to fold the tail. Like with the neck, fold the tail up, then flip it inside out to secure. this two or three more times along the length of the tail to finish your origami dragon. If you 
you've enjoyed this origami dragon tutorial, head to gathered.how for lots of other origami projects. Don't forget to subscribe to the Gathered Makes YouTube channel. We love to see what you've been making, so be sure to tag us in your craft projects on social media. Goodbye for now!